Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to be behind the camera and not in front. I'm actually going to have my dad take over and show you how he makes his signature famous and traditional Uzbeki plov. And I might be a little biased, but I think my dad does the best plov. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I know it's a little bit different, but we've been really enjoying cooking as a family during quarantine. So I hope that you enjoy. And if you want to stick around to see how my dad cooks plov, then just keep on watching. Today I'm making Uzbeki plov. So what we have over here, six cups of rice. In Bukhari, they say piola, six piola of rice. Over here you have one and a half onion, big one, around 10 carrots fresh carrots around medium size you have to shred it this way i mean some people do it big some people do it small but we prefer this garlics we like potatoes to put so i'm going to show you how to put potatoes and jalapeno and then the meat the meat is shin the best meat to put for this and you can also put a cow's tail which is also makes it very very delicious now people do it with lamb people do it with chicken it's whatever you want to do but we're going to do it today with the only meat paprika salt cumin and black pepper okay so come on, i'm going to show them the pot right now so we're going to do it on this part now this part has a couple different sizes this one is for the amount that i'm going to do right now so i don't need bigger even though i have the bigger one and then chopped wood of wood i did all different kinds of size because it's very important to be able to control the fire so that's why i cut them for different sizes And the pot is very important. This is a special iron pot, very heavy. So very important for the flow if you do. If you do with the meat, don't put too much oil because the meat has already oil in it. So that's it. For the start, this is a perfect fire. So now what I do is that if the fire is too high, I take one out. If too low, I add one. But for the start, this is perfect. So as we go along, I'm going to show you how to control the fire and make sure it doesn't get too high or it's too low. So every process needs certain fire. So we're going to show you step by step how the process goes. For now, it's okay. Now I have to fry the onion. But now I'm putting the onion first. When you do blow outside and inside, it's two different tastes. The way the outside tastes, it's unbelievable. You have the, the taste of the woods and everything. It's, it's, it's amazing taste here. So. It's easier to do at home because you can control the fire and everything, but nothing did the outside here. And I let it stay for a little bit. I'm gonna add one more just to make the fire a little higher. Okay, the onion is ready. Now we're gonna put the meat. The meat again is shin. You have a choice, you can put lamb, you can put chicken, you can put whichever meat you like, but this is the one we use, so. Now we're gonna cook the meat 20 to 25 minutes. The more you cook it on a controlled fire, you're gonna see a lot of juice coming out, the juice of the meat. So. For approximately 20 to 25 minutes. And we're gonna close the top. the fire is a little bit too high so I'm gonna take one out see how much juice come out of the meat I'm still gonna let it go for another like 20 minutes the wood that I took out the fire became a little bit lower so now I'm gonna add this one it's not complicated it might look complicated when you play with the fire but it's not 20 minutes passed by so far I just want to show you what it looks like inside see nice and juicy Nice and juicy. I'm still gonna let it go for another 10 minutes. So now I'm gonna add the seasoning. Okay. I'm cooking around half an hour already. See the carrots? I'm not gonna put the whole thing. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna put a little bit, just a little bit. I'm gonna tell you why I do that. Just a drop, okay? I do the salt based on my hand. That's how I figure out how much I need. I don't know if you're gonna be able to do the same, but. Pepper. Okay. 
and then paprika, red paprika. You can see approximately how much I put. The paprika will help with the color also. And then cumin. Look, approximately, you see how much I have? But I'm gonna put a little bit more. Another shot like that. So one of the reasons I put a little bit carrots is because I'm gonna mix it right now for the last time, this part. The okay, carrot's gonna go underneath, this way the, the rice or nothing would get stuck to the pot. You see? So what I'm gonna do is again, I'm gonna take, move it a little bit, put a drop of carrots on the bottom, on each side. One of the reasons I'm doing this thing, I'm not gonna mix it again. This, especially with the meat part. And I put garlic. Two, ga two garlic, and potatoes is your choice. If you like it, you put it. If you don't like it, you don't put it, but we like it, so we put it. Potatoes, young potatoes, and then one jalapeno. Don't break it because it's very hot. Straight like that, see? And then we're gonna put the carrots, see the carrots? And that's it, you don't turn any more inside, so watch. Okay, I'm gonna close it, again I'm gonna let it stay away for another 15 minutes. You don't wanna make the carrots too soft. I'm showing the fire again, but one of the reasons I'm showing is very important for Palau, fire is the most important part of it. As you know how to control it, it's better it's gonna taste. So I'm gonna show it again, the fire, just to let you know what the inside looks like with this type of fire. See how it's going? The car is becoming a little bit soft, a little bit more. Another like five minutes, I'm gonna add the rice. Okay, so the, what I did with the rice, I put six cups, means piole in Bukhari. A measurement to a cups is around four and a half to five cups. You have to leave it in the warm water for like half an hour, 35, 40 minutes for the warm water. Before I put it in the warm water, I washed it three times. Okay, so it was thin in the water. So now I'm gonna take it out, but I'm not gonna put it yet. Okay, so I'm taking the water out. Once the carrot is ready over there, I'm gonna put it in. Okay, I'm gonna add the rice right now. See how it looks? Now, you cannot mix this anymore. So let me add the rice. My wife always wants to cook the pulao by herself. I hope this video is not going to make her cook the pulao. Never. I would rather do it myself. <laughs> now just spray the rice everywhere. See? Okay. You cannot mix it. You cannot mix all together or anything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a boiling water. You cannot add a sink water or cold water. It has to be boiling water. On top of this, this way it doesn't disturb the rice. Okay, just a little bit over the rice. Around four cups. Okay, just spray the rice. And make sure you don't see it. The, the, the catch of the pillow, that you're not supposed to see the meat or the carrots coming out. Maybe one or two gonna sneak out, but majority of it has to stay in. Okay, so always do this what I'm doing on the side, this way it doesn't get stuck to the pot. Now over here, it's important. You need another, You need to cook the rice for 15 minutes. One of the reasons I'm doing the whole is just for the steam to come out and cook those sections. Okay. So I'm gonna cover it. And again, the most important is the fire, right now, especially this time. Make sure the fire is not too high. You don't wanna drain the water too fast before the rice cooks. So let me see the fire and then... So I add a drop of salt on top. I always do that, I don't know, just like that. You know, because I cannot mix it, you know. So I just add a drop of salt on top. Look, see, always try to do this to keep it from the side. And if you need to add more water, you can add, but you can only add water once you see how the rice is going. If the rice is soft, you don't have to add water. This time I'm gonna do like seven, eight holes. And make sure it boils everywhere. Like this side is not boiling a little bit, and those sides are. So I'm gonna move the fire to make sure that everything is boiling equal. Because otherwise, one side gonna cook and the other side not gonna cook well. So let me move the fire a little bit. 
I cut my wood different sizes. You see, I have big ones or even bigger and I have a little bit thinner one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the left side. Remember, I, I, I didn't see it boiling on that side. The water is evaporating a little bit, but still. So what you have to do, lightly from the top, twist it. See, from the top only, not from the bottom. Don't touch the bottom. I see a lot of people doing the bottom, they're killing it, you're not supposed to. Only from the top. And go like this. See? And see what I'm doing? One of the reasons is that if you do that, it's not gonna get stuck to the pot. You know? For now, I have still, is, there's water inside. If I need, if I feel that it's necessary to put more, I will put a little bit more. So again, we have to do holes inside for the steam to come out. Let me see what's going on right now, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it around. This is the top part. I'm gonna taste the rice right now. The rice is a little bit hard. So I'm gonna add a drop of more water, boiling water again. So you should do the same. If you do it, if you see the rice is hard, just add water, just a drop. Give it a little bit more time to cook. So, hold on, let me see. Okay, last time. I'm gonna flip it one more time. Only the top part. And we're gonna close it right now for 20 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes. I usually do it around 25 minutes. Okay. And a low fire. So here you see it's boiling all equal, so that means the fire is good. I make a couple holes again. This is the steam comes out. Okay, that's it. The last time I'm touching it. So what I do is take paper towel, put it on top of the cover, and cover it. One of the reasons we're doing this thing for 20 to 25 minutes is to take the moist out of the pillow. This way it shouldn't be like a wet, you know. So it has to be nicely tight, you see? A couple layers of uh, paper towel. So let me just check the fire because the night time it's very, very important. So you gotta take time, 25 minutes from now. So let me see the fire. The fire is good. Okay, that's, what, that's the way we're gonna leave it, nice and distant, small woods I put. Okay, so we have another 10 minutes for the food to be ready. You see the fire? Nice and low. You cannot put too high. It has to be the same thing as this. No higher than that. Okay, so another 10 minutes and we're gonna open it. Okay, the moment of true. 25 minutes passed by, I'm gonna open it. And let's see. Beautiful. Flipping a little bit the top. Hold on. Okay, let me taste a little bit and tell you how is it. Too bad you guys not here to taste it. Unbelievable. The way you have to play it, you gotta take it from the top. First the rice. You cannot go all the way inside and start taking from the bottom. You have to do the rice. Then the second layer is gonna be the carrots. That's why we didn't mix it. This is the potatoes. Mm. We like potatoes, so we put potatoes inside. It's your choice if you want to put it or not. But you should put it. It's unbelievable. Let me take the jalapeno nicely. Okay, so this is one plate. Just to give you an idea, this is a garlic. I tell you, too bad you cannot taste it. <laughs> but I tried it at home, 
And if you have any question, you can always, how are you going? I'm not a YouTube Come person. In. Comment. <laughs> and if anything we can help you with, we will. Enjoy. Good appetite. And here is how the pull-off turned out. And I have to tell you guys, it was incredible. So delicious. My dad did amazing. And if you guys like this different type of content, let me know down in the comments so I can start uploading more of my life here on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload. And that should be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.